y'all welcome back to my channel and welcome to my very first natural hair product empties video y'all i never ever 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 thought i was gonna get done with some products because y'all i just kept buying more and more and more and more and more okay i just kept buying more products trying more things and i wasn't emptying out anything it was like girl you got a hundred open products up here and you need to empty something because girl these things about to start going past the day and some of them were but um yeah i really needed to finish some things though because it was kind of hard for me to give you the real on a product when i have only used it one time and it was just girl you got what i thought about at first impression but that was pretty much it so in this video i'm gonna just tell you guys how i feel about these products will i repurchase these products again for my daughters because if you don't already know i did start my lock journey so a lot of these products i will never use again <laughs> only because of this is where we are now i just kind of wanted to get away from the product junkieism the hoarderism all the things girl because it's a lot of empties in this box okay and i still have so many more products left okay but this intro has been long enough so let me go ahead and jump right into it okay so first is the main choice do it for the culture bold buttery gel y'all already know how i feel about the main choice gels i absolutely love this gel okay i love it i love it this was the very first main choice gel i tried and it made me want to go try all the rest of them if i was still doing the whole curly girl thing i would definitely repurchase this I might still repurchase it just to use it on my daughter, but I really do like this. Next is the Tailored Beauty Moisture Penetrating Deep Conditioner Treatment. Um, I only got to try this one time, but the one time I did try it, it was so strengthening. My hair felt and looked so good, okay? There wasn't a whole lot of slip no slip, okay, because that that's just not what it was there for. <laughs> but it was still super duper bomb. If you are in need of like some strengthening, definitely would check this out. And I will be repurchasing this. Next is the Honey's Handmade Bentonite and Sea Clay Deep Conditioning Mask. So I was able to use this once on myself. Once on myself and once on my daughter. And I loved it on both of us. It left our hair really, really soft and it was so clean. Curls were popping. It just looked really, really good. So I would repurchase this as well. Next is the Sultanicals Afro Tastic Curl Elastic. Y'all already know how I feel about her. She bae, okay? She is bae. I will definitely be repurchasing these for my daughters. Um just bomb all around okay it gave me the moisture just everything i needed i i love it here okay i definitely repurchased this next is the mayel babasu and mint deep conditioner so this is the protein like strengthening deep conditioner um y'all already if you know you know i won't repurchase it but if you need some protein She's a good protein deep conditioner. So if you you not if you're not against it, then go ahead. I honestly also I hate the way it like lingers and smells because it almost kind of makes me feel like I never rinsed it all the way out. So that kind of just uh, bothers me a little bit too. But I won't be repurchasing this just because of you know if you know you know if you don't then. It's okay. We don't want to do all that today. Next is the main choice 3-in-1 Revitalize and Refresh Conditioner. You can use this as a co-wash, leave-in, or a detangler. I've used it as a co-wash and a leave-in. I really liked it for both. Um, I actually did repurchase this. I bought a bigger size in it. Um, I haven't really played around with it with my daughter's hair. So I can't necessarily tell you if I would repurchase it again for them. But I did repurchase it for me. The Afro Sheen Lush Fro Butter. This is a no for me, dog. Okay, I honestly didn't even empty this all the way out. It's, 
it's a no for me. Um, I kind of used it on my daughter's hair when it was straight just to kind of have something to put on it and make it shine and just keep it straight. But um, don't really do anything. Uh, <laughs> don't really do anything. You just pack a whole lot of like oils on there. Oils that don't really penetrate the hair strand. And yeah, I ain't like that. So it's a no for me, dog. The main choice tropical moringa pearly braid out glaze, y'all. I love her, okay? I did repurchase her as well. I have a whole nother jar, have been open, have been used. I'll definitely be using it, finishing it up on my daughter. Um, Her hair loves the main choice gels just like mine did. So, I love it. Um, I love this for wash and goes. I also loved it when I was doing like a twist. Like, let's say I would do mini twist or whatever. I would leave them in for a little while with this. So moisturized, so shiny, just looking good. And I do the same for my daughter, so she's definitely a repurchase. This Camille Rose Coconut Water Penetrating Hair Treatment, definitely a repurchase. I really love this for me, and I also loved it for my daughters as well. Um, it just made our hair really soft and like buttery feeling, and honestly, it gave me like the perfect protein moisture balance situation so i really like this and it's definitely a repurchase for me next is the mish warm sugar cookie limited edition holiday deep conditioner so this one really reminded me of the indulged deep conditioner so um i actually really liked it it was um made my hair feel like butter <laughs> once again it felt really good it was really moisturizing it worked pretty good on my daughters as well so um if it comes out again, I'm not going to like rush to go get it because like I said, it does remind me of the Indulge, but the Indulge is just a little bit better. So I'm not going to rush to go get it, but I mean, I would maybe repurchase it again. I, I mean, it wasn't bad at the end of the day. Next is the As I Am Long and Luxe Grow Wash. I actually love this co-wash, y'all. It leaves your hair so soft okay and it has so much slip in this little co-wash i love it i love it for me i love it for my daughters hey i love it okay so i would definitely repurchase this in the price point like sis it's really good so repurchase for me next is the soul tentacles master hair cleanse curl detox y'all this right here, baby. This is the next best thing to a bentonite DIY clay mask. The, the one when you get the powder and you mix it. Girl, this is the next best thing without having to do all that. I did use one jar because it didn't tell me to like put water on it or anything. So I didn't put water on it. And I did use the whole jar on my head right before I got these locks. But my hair was so clean, so Soft. It was just my curls were popping. I really thought my hair was damaged before using this and it gave me that bounce back sis. So this is a definite repurchase. I'll be using this on both of my daughters. So um yeah I need to get two of these cuz girl we gonna make these work. Next is the As I Am Coconut Co-Wash. Um, so I tried to try it as a pre-poo because I heard that it works really good for that. I just still really didn't care for it. And it's not quite empty, but it's definitely almost there. So I'm just, yeah, uh-uh, uh-uh, we done, okay? And we ain't never going back. I wouldn't repurchase this ever because I hated the way it felt on my hair, especially as a co-wash. And it was just okay to me as a people my hair just still felt bad after rinsing it out so it's a no for me dog so next is the african pride moisture miracle pre shampoo if you know you know i think i have maybe two of these in here at least yeah yeah two of them so as long as i can get my hands on these um i'll definitely be repurchasing if you can see the price right here it was only 5.99 and you get a few uses out of it because the slip is bomb okay and it works for me my daughters both of them because when they get hairstyles they'll keep them for like two to three weeks sometimes and their hair gets really really tangled in this 
this is the miracle that was saving us okay so i really love this i will continue to repurchase this as much as i can get my hands on it because i love it next is the maya mongongo oil hydrating conditioner i actually really like this conditioner um it was really like moisturizing it felt really really good to my strands but you know i won't repurchase it again just because i'm not but um it was a really good deep conditioner so if you're into Mayo, definitely also i have the Mayo pomegranate and honey leave-in conditioner this was kind of like hit or miss for me like um some days it would work really really well some days it wouldn't work all that good so um i went ahead and finished it up but after using like a plastic cap with it or whatever letting it sit for about 10 minutes before doing a style it definitely worked and it felt really good but it didn't hold the moisture for a really long time especially when you're doing like a wash and go or something like that nah it's a no but it if it's a twist out braid out situation something like that it it did me well so i guess it was just more so what you were using it for but um you know i won't repurchase it but it's a okay leave-in conditioner this is the camille rose algae renew deep conditioning mask um i really didn't like this a lot of people were like oh this made my hair feel so good this i like it's a staple for me no i didn't like it i just i really didn't care for it <laughs> it was it just didn't feel like it was doing anything like it was really soft and buttery and stuff going on but i just i didn't get anything from it like after rinsing it out i just this is a no for me i won't repurchase this for me nor my daughters the mish indulge moisturizing deep conditioner this is a definite repurchase because first of all hold on i tried it as a sample size first loved it absolutely loved it went back and bought a bigger size it's a definite repurchase for me um i really like the moisture that it packs into your strands and after rinsing it out your hair still feels so soft and moisturized i it's a repurchase for me okay next is the texture id curl clarifying shampoo now this is like maybe $7.99 in the store it's either $7.99 or $8.99 it's really inexpensive and I actually really like this like my hair isn't stripped after using this but you can tell that it's really really clean and it just gets the job done so I like texture ID I'm the original line anyway I really like this and I would definitely repurchase it I also have the texture ID styling cream um I repurchased this actually a few times I don't like it for anything other than to slick your hair back or slick your hair up into a puff just something like that because it doesn't hold the moisture long enough for me in a twist out or a braid out but I would repurchase it if it's for something simple like that so yeah that's that on that I actually have two of their intense moisturizing leave-in conditioners I love these y'all texture ID did their thing with these like these are so bomb to me i would definitely repurchase these the price point is on point like i love these i actually had to unscrew the top and like pour it into my hand and it's like a thicker consistency when you do it that way instead of spraying it out of the bottom but i loved it my curls loved it my daughter's hair both of them loved it it is just a definite repurchase and yes the tailored beauty moisturizing mist okay so i was just trying to get rid of this so i was just spraying it and just going girl just moisturizing where because uh i ain't like that i ain't like that but now that my hair is locked it actually may work fairly well for that it just didn't do really good on my loose natural hair it was just like moisture wear it see it's like uh-uh uh-uh because it was really just like a oil water it was weird i can't even like eh, i ain't like it though i hated it it just it just mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. as i figured out what was going on here i was like no this it's a no for me but it actually might work really good since i am um locking up now so i don't know i might repurchase it for that but not for my daughters and their loose natural hair no ma'am no ham okay the texture id deep treatment mask now this is 
protein, 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 my good sis, okay? But if you're in need of some protein and something cheap, she's good, okay? And not a whole lot of moisture that is packing in there, but your hair is not super dry either. Um, I thought it was decent. I will repurchase it. I mean, it was cheap and it was, it got the job done. So, I had to repurchase. So, I had the Honey's Handmade Righteous Roots Manuka and Marshmallow Root Moisture Minute Deep Conditioner. So, um, it was so tiny so I could only use it once but I cleaned this little baby out and my hair was left moisturized and it just felt really good. Um... I wouldn't repurchase it because they were so small unless they have the bigger jars. And some stuff they did go ahead and add bigger jars to. So if it was a bigger jar, I would. But it was just so small. I just... I know it was just like a try me kind of thing. But I, I, I don't like it to be that small because I, I was barely making it. Okay. Here I have the Quenched Hydrating and Twisting Butter from Mish. I actually really like this and I actually did repurchase it in a bigger size. I should still have it sitting up here right now and I use it on my daughter's hair and it's just moisturizing. It makes your twist outs come out super bomb. This was the best twist out I had ever had using this product right here. Like so bomb. Definitely will repurchase it again. I liked it and I'll keep doing it. So this Camille Rose Rose Cleansing Milk, I really like this. I don't know what it was. It was saying that it was a cleansing milk, but I, this one was supposed to be for definition. I just, I, I ain't like this. I ain't feel like it was doing a whole lot. I added extra water to it to get like that. Yeah, I ain't like it. I, I just, mm. Yeah, I'm, that's enough. Next is the As I Am Restore and Repair Jamaican Black Castor Oil Leave-In Conditioner. I actually really like this. This was one of my favorites still to this day. One of my favorites. So, she's a definite repurchase. It works well on me and both of my daughters. So, yeah. Next is the Camille Rose Curl Love Moisture Milk. I just feel like this was a little bit thicker and heavier in consistency than their other leave-ins and I liked it because it was packed with moisture and all the things but um sometimes I felt like it was a little too moisturizing like it was just it was a lot to handle but I would repurchase it um I would use it on my daughters one of my daughters has really really thick hair and this worked really well on her especially for a trapping in and keeping in that moisture so I would repurchase it I just didn't really care for it as much on my hair as I did hers next is the style factor edge booster this is the one that came out before they started doing the um stronghold pomade ones I mean this is the one with the clear top so these were like white the other ones are brown this one kind of it would get like cakey a little bit and kind of turn white sometimes however it was a really 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 good edge control my favorite actually i actually still love edge booster to this day um i haven't really used it since i started my lock journey only because it will cake up and flake up and do all the things and I don't need to wash my hair for a little while. So, I just haven't used the other ones since. But, I would definitely still repurchase this. I like them. They work really well. So, yeah. Next is the Nature's Little Secret Fenugreek Detangling Pre-Poo. Y'all, when I first used this, I ain't like this. I was like, what is this? What is this? We have like a little love-hate relationship though, y'all. I just, I was like, what? Girl, what is this? But I figured out that my hair really didn't do too well with different kinds of oils when I after I put the color on it because I used this on both of my daughters and it was gliding through. I, when I say gliding, the bomb. Okay, so I did repurchase it actually for them and I repurchased like three of them. I ain't gonna lie. So yeah. It's a repurchase for me. Next is the Camille Rose Lavender Stimulating Growth System Quench Deep Conditioner. Um, I actually really like this. It wasn't too heavy. It wasn't too light. Um, it left my hair feeling moisturized and it left it feeling pretty good. So, I would repurchase this though. The price point though, y'all, it was a whole $20 and it was only like 8 ounces. So, you're not getting a whole, whole lot out of it. However, I did really like this deep conditioner. So, 
it's a definite repurchase for me it smells so good i like that little tingly feeling it leaves on your scalp this that tingly feeling sold me okay i really like that next is the mayel avocado moisturizing hair milk i hate that mayel had to go and mess up a good thing man i hate it like can y'all just tell they owner to do what she supposed to do so we can get back to using this? Because, man, I literally had so many Mayel products because Mayel was bomb. Like, this, this was good. Like, I really like this. This worked really well on my daughters, both of them. It worked really well on me. I just, can, can she run that back and do what she's supposed to do? Because, girl girl you messing it up you messing up the flow because we we want to we want to use this okay we do anyway um i won't be repurchasing it until some things happen i don't know she need to apologize do something Just do something do, own up to your stuff man anyway <laughs> i i just it was good y'all if you wanted to try any type of hair milk, if you needed like that little moisture boost or whatever, it's really good. So if you into doing, um, I don't know, if you supporting the brand still, I say go for it. And last but not least is this Wild Growth Hair Oil. I actually have two of these bottles that are empty and you guys will probably see this in my um empties all the time. A lot, okay? Because I use this on my daughter's hair and I also used it on mine. I don't know if I'm going to still continue to use it with the locks because I don't want a whole lot of build up going on on my scalp. And this is really thick and um sometimes it did like leave like a little like white stuff under my nails when I was like washing my hair so I don't know if I'll be using this with the lots in the smell it lingers for so long I don't know if I want to walk around smelling like this but it'll probably still always be in my empties only because I'll use it on my daughter and I really like it it really does work if you use it consistently and like you're supposed to so I really think they did a really good job on these and I would definitely be repurchasing it. So you guys, that was all of my empties. I worked so hard on getting product empties, y'all. I had to work mad hard to do that. What I had to do basically was my newer products, I just didn't open them at all. And I was like, girl, you need to use some of this other stuff. So I would just like start using stuff that I know had been open and it had been open for a while. And I just started to use it. And a lot of them were really great products. A lot of them will be repurchases for me. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one.